Another Zone Sportsmanship Challenge for Whiskey Tango Foxtrot Headphone or anyone else who might be interested. And again, the Truck Cemetery. Something about this, this is just a unique spot. What it allows a creative, or shall we say, overly imaginative zoner to do. Well, figured I might try to do something with the RPG-7. Fairly decent representation of an RPG-7. The grips are in the right configuration. Your character's hands are grasping the grips correctly. Something we almost never see in movies except The Beast, which came out in the late 80s. It's also called The Beast of War. So what's the gimmick this time? Query is Chimera. The idea is to jump from here to there and then coax the Chimera into jumping way up high. In order to do that you would be jumping in the air. You land on the ground from that propeller blade. The Chimera should be in the air somewhere over this way and then you blast it with either a 40 mil or a rocket. I really want to do it with the RPG, but the GP25 is just easier to use. It's also just plain convenient com in comparison to lugging around a rocket launcher. And why not have an underslung grenade launcher? Type of Chimera shouldn't matter with this type of ordnance, but I don't know for sure. And let's try this in third person. Press the wrong thing. Sure, <laughs> If this ends up taking too many tries, I might not include all of them. Fast rockets are better than slow rockets. Oh, that's the concept.
Another reason why I love the Truck Cemetery. Excellent hunting grounds. You'll usually encounter a chimera, a pseudo giant. If you really luck out, you'll get one of each or more. Type of chimera, if I didn't already mention it, probably won't matter much. expecting more damage to my armor.
By the way, <clears throat> you'll notice that all the different Stalker games and mods tend to have different settings for the GP25, though it pretty much always functions the same way. Like in Shadow of Chernobyl, it's set at, I think, the highest angle. Like this. Which IRL would launch a VOG-25 at a high mortar-like arc. That's for when you need to rain down mayhem on the enemy. Like say they, they have cover to their front but they don't have any protection above them. This is just so impractical.
I'm going to count that. I'm pretty sure that's about as close as I'm going to get. Should I press my lock and go for another one? Sure, why not? I surviving all of this because the forest battle suit really is just that good I knew I was pressing my luck. That will just about do it. In the words of Bruce Campbell, catch you on the flip-flop.